The night of crying is over. You got to learn how to pronounce the benediction of your yesteryears. You got to learn how to tell that situation I'm burying you right now. You got to learn how to tell the enemy that you're not going to conquer me. Why? Because the scripture says I'm more but the preacher. I'm more than a conqueror. Through him that loved us. I feel church now. You got to understand that you are the head and not the tail. You got to understand that you are above and never beneath. You got to understand that blessed are you in the field and blessed are you coming and you're going. You got to know that the scripture is true. Now unto him that is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we can ask or think. I don't have no church here. According to the power that worketh within us. You got to understand that after this cry is in your favor. They went from having faith to fear. Yes, they did. The children of Israel, I can't go into it, but they went from having faith to fear. And then they went on to complaining. How many of us have can be admitted and admit to God right now because he's already looking at us? How many of you all look and admit that you have been complaining to him? You've been complaining so bad that it almost seems as if God has turned his back on you. But God just wants to see, are you done complaining so that I can work a miracle on your behalf? How if I somebody say, there's a miracle happening for me right now? And then after they went from faith to fear, then they went to complaining, and then they went from having a tear, and then they went to faith, and then they went back to backsliding. They had the nerve to backslide after all that God had did for them. You know you backslide sometimes, not just the sin act nature, but you backslide, backslide sometimes when you don't even believe God. So they backslid. And then after they backslid, Moses has to say some words of faith. Moses says these words to them. And Moses said unto people, fear ye not, stand still. And see the salvation of the Lord, which he shall show you to you today. For the event the Egyptians that you have seen today, you will not see them no longer. In other words, all I got to tell you as I close, that your situation you will see no longer. Well, prophet, you don't know what I got to go to, but where's your faith? You don't know what's going on in my home. You don't know what's going on with my parents, but where's your faith? Faith is the substance of things hoped for, and the evidence of things not seen. You got to be able to see it as a songwriter always said, and we quote it as a colloquium, as a cliche. You got to see it before you see it, or you never will see it. You got to learn how to put your hands up to your brow and see your deliverance coming. And say, Lord, here I am, here I am, here I am. Whatever you're doing, don't do it without me. So as we close. God wants to know how bad do you want it? How bad do you want favor? How bad do you want God to see a turnaround in your life? How bad do you want God to do the impossible? How bad do you want it? How bad do you want God to heal your family? How, God, how bad do you want God to turn some things around? Well, in order for God to turn those things around, you've got to ask him according to Acts 1 and 8. And the scripture says, but you shall receive power. After that, the Holy Ghost has come upon you, and you shall be witnesses unto me in both Jerusalem. It says, in Samaria, and into the uttermost parts of Judea, and into the uttermost parts of the world. Look at someone and say, let's go to church now. High five someone and say, this is the time for me to get power. Come on, come on, stand up. God, I need power. Uh, uh, come on, come on, say, what type of power do you need? Uh, tell somebody, say, what type of power do you need? Come on, come on, say, what type of power do you need? Uh, come on, tune up your voice box and act like you're a preacher. Say, what type of power do you need? I need power right now. Uh, I need power with God.
Father, in the name of Jesus, I ask now that you do for my sisters and brothers. God, I thank you that tonight, that after this last cry that they cried, it literally is in their favor. 